Welcome back to another episode of Eat With Dunks. And today, we made oven jerk chicken. If you like spicy food, this one should be in your top three. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This can be served with whatever you choose, but today, we have it served with gunga rice and peas and a cabbage salad with a couple plantains. Keep watching, and I'll show you guys just how to make it. I've already seasoned the meat here using a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning and ginger powder, a teaspoon of rosemary and allspice, and about four tablespoons of jerk seasoning. We're just going to rub in our seasoning real good. You got to caress the meat and make sure you fully cover the chicken. Make sure you're getting in every single crevice of your leg quarters. And you can use whatever meat you want to use for this. I just got leg quarters because I prefer jerking those. The trick is more caressing. No, for real. Look at it. This is how you know it's going to be good. Our chicken is now ready for the oven. We're gonna place our chicken in our baking container and just make sure they're placed evenly. Let's cover it with foil paper so that meat can be tender throughout. Place inside the oven on 385 degrees heat for about 25 minutes. Keep watching to see what happens afterwards. In the meantime, let's get our rice and peas ready. I'm gonna start by boiling two and a half cups of water with a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of ginger powder, a tablespoon of allspice, a tablespoon of onion powder, and a tablespoon of garlic powder. We're gonna leave this here to boil. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar and some thyme leaves to the water. The gunga peas are already cooking and I'm using canned peas. They're called pigeon peas if you're looking for these cans in the stores. Now for some flavor. We'll add some coconut milk and trust me when I say this is what makes rice and peas rice and peas. It is not the rice, it is not the peas, it's the coconut milk. Oh I almost forgot. Put some green onion and a green scotch bonnet pepper in the pot and let this cook and flavor your pea. While that's cooking, we're gonna get our rice ready. Guys, if you wash your rice, pause this video and hit the like button, okay? You gotta wash your rice. We're just gonna add the cooked peas to the rice now and get it ready for the magic. Add some butter and let the rice cook. While that's cooking, let's check on our chicken. We're just gonna poke the meat with our fork. Oh look, so as you can see, the chicken isn't quite done yet. There's blood coming out. But not to worry, we're gonna place it in our ear fryer and let the meat cook some more and crisp a little. And we're gonna leave it in there for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare our veggies for a jerk sauce. Cut chunks of bell peppers and cut a whole scotch bonnet and pepper into small pieces. Place the veggies along with some browning and ketchup in the broth that the chicken made while they were in the oven. Add some butter and a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. This is some honey to give the sauce a little bit of a sweet taste. You can use barbecue or anything that can sweeten that sauce a little bit. Now thoroughly stir before placing our chicken back into our baking bowl. Cover the baking bowl back with foil paper and place it back into the oven. I think our rice is done. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's money. Let's get this scotch bonnet pepper out, but look. This is what you want your gungu rice and peas to look like. For our cabbage salad, we're using a half a cabbage and washing it in salt water to get rid of all insects and bugs. Now, we're just going to cut tiny shreds, just like this. We're 
We're using a tiny grater that makes small shreds of carrot. And I'm only using one carrot for this. Guys, trust me. I'm not big on carrots, but this salad is good. When we're done with the carrot, we're going to add some garlic salt and two tablespoons of this magic mixture. Actually, it's no magic. It's just some white vinegar, olive oil, and brown sugar mixed together. Now just mix it all in until it looks something like this. Is your chicken done? Let's see. Ooh, money. We're just going to kind of cover the chicken with some of the sauce. Let it soak through the meat like this. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to eat this. Let's make a plate. Gotta pour the jerk sauce over the top of the chicken. Look how juicy it looks. and the plantains listen at this point i feel like i eat fried plantains with everything i bet you over there like damn this boy can cook but i know you can too so i'm gonna dare you make this recipe at home and send me a picture of it in my instagram dm or my email listed below if you haven't already liked this video what are you waiting on go ahead and hit the like button so youtube can send this recipe to others just like you and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making videos like these and you can try these recipes at home. Let me see how you've done. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be eating with dunks.